is Klondike. Klondike Gold Rush is an area in the territory of Yukon. It was an active gold mine from 1896 to 1899. In 1896, a man named Robert Henderson told another miner named George Carmack that he found nuggets of gold in the river of Klondike. After that, George Carmack went camping by the river and he spotted a piece of gold in the lake which later caused the Klondike Gold Rush. Positive Effects to Society from the Klondike Gold Rush When there was gold discovered at Klondike, this led to many people rushing to the area. Because of this, Dawson City was created, which could give people a place to work and live, which positively affected the society. And then two years later, on June 13, the territory of Yukon entered Confederation because of the surge of people there. And you could say that without this gold rush, the territory of Yukon would not be in our country today. The miners found $29 million worth of gold while mining in the gold rush. Converted, that's about $900 million in today's money. But that was far from the amount of money they spent getting there. But since they've spent lots of money, that benefited the economy. And since there was a large amount of unemployment, that helped all those people. Robert Service wrote many poems of his time at Klondike. Even though he wasn't there when the gold rush was active, his poems were very popular in Canada and he was also known as Bard of the Yukon. Even though his stories didn't affect the Canadian economy, it's the art that affected people. Negative effects to the society. Because of the Klondike area being taken up, the First Nations people's food and land was destroyed. Because of the surge of people going to the gold rush, the gold rush meant that lots of animals like caribou and moose were forced out of the area which the indigenous hunted, so they had major reduction in food. The environment was damaged from the mining too. The mining caused damage to the river, which caused toxins to be in the water, and the salmons which the indigenous peoples ate started dying. Finally, the miners brought many diseases to the natives, which caused lots of them to die, and they introduced alcohol, which the indigenous have never had before. Finally, many miners died getting to the gold rush. Only about 30,000 out of the 100,000 made it to the Klondike gold rush. In conclusion, the Klondike gold rush had many good and bad effects to Canadian society.